YouTube family. Let's talk about it. Over the weekend, people been throwing shots, educational purpose at Billionaire Black, saying Billionaire Black this FBG cash. My disclaimer is I rock with the entire camp. I don't pick no sides. But I gotta be a journalist and we gotta talk about it. We gotta look at the speculations going in on what Black is saying on the guys. Let's start this show the right way. Hit that like button. Let's go with the duck intro. Let's go. Man, 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 you got a lot going on. So what's going on is the guys is like Black is going in on his own home team. Let's go with these receipts so we can look at it close. Now, the receipts show you that Black said this about cash. Now, he put it up. King Yella put, rest up, my brother. You feel me? You was one of the smart ones. I can't believe this right now, bro. And you guys can see what Billy put. Billy put, damn, Mr. Melly Way. We all know what Billionaire Black meant by damn, Mr. Melly Way. Billionaire Black been on the spree, doing it for Duck, slotted for Duck. Hashtag extortion gang. Billionaire Black has seen his most booming success after he lost both his brothers, Duck and his little brother. Notice I didn't call Cash his brother. Rest in peace to Cash. Because I've always speculated, do these people like each other? Or are they around because Duck was the immediator? I know the answer to that. I'm letting you guys figure it out. You feel me? I talked to these gentlemen, not all of them, some of them, but I didn't know the speculation would lead to this. Now, Black got out the way to also say this on that same day, which led people to have speculations. Black was probably the one, you feel me, who, who had this, he felt. So I, without further ado, let's just show the speculations without me just saying it. Black lost his little brother on that day. He made sure to pull Richie Perks forever. You feel me? If y'all don't realize, before FBG Duck got killed, like three weeks before that, billionaire black little brother got killed. And it was right after he just came home for being locked up. Can you imagine you're locked up? You come home, you lose both your brothers, Doug and your blood brother. So his mind is racing right now. He's watching people who ain't being real, who ain't who ain't sliding like they post to. And what threw me off is I seen a video that I won't play because of copyright reasons where black was speaking to cash and they were laughing at some island board clown niggas from New York. Not that I'm coming at New York, but them two individuals was clowns from New York. And New York don't even claim them because, once again, New York got a lot of real niggas. But those two island boys was not the New York real niggas. And they were not even the original island boys. It was just two clowns beefing with the FBG crew. I seen Ruger got on there. Cash was there. Billionaire Black was there, and they seemed cordial, but then I found a video in 2020. Now, Billionaire Black could hit me up and tell me this video that I'm about to play, if it's cap or if it's true or somebody edited. It was a video in 2020 where Billionaire Black was calling out so-called alleged friends of FBG Duck for being very friendly with the so-called ops. I'm going to let Black speak his piece, and y'all tell me and determine who is he coming at. You hear me? I got a more to answer, man. I got a question for all the real street niggas out here and all you fucking Instagram followers. What the fuck be on you grown-ass niggas' mind waking up every morning with another nigga dick in your mouth, bro? Why my name always in you niggas' mouth, bro? It's never congratulations, bro. It's always some negative shit. Why? Three reasons. Either one, niggas want to be you. Either two, niggas is jealous and they want what you got. Or number three, you niggas is just straight bitches on full and great. You niggas be scared of them niggas.
Now, if you guys can see the Melly way and the billionaire black situation, you can see he's talking about you niggas is scared of them niggas. He's referring to fake friends of Duck who ain't sliding for Duck. We know when Duck got killed during this time. I mean, before he got killed, his little cousin allegedly got killed years ago, around 2016, 15, or 14. You know what I mean? And people was allegedly tying it to 051, specifically Melly. They were saying that little Ducks, I mean, um, sorry, FBG Ducks, little cousin, uh, uh, shot Melly allegedly in the back of the head. So Melly got his get back and, and dropped Duck's cousin. Now, what was confusing to me, if this was Duck cousin for real, and even if it was, and if Melly was the one who killed him, you would see Melly on multiple videos hanging with billionaire i'm black and doug well not billionaire but hanging with doug you seen pictures you seen all that even after melly got killed people was bringing up duck's cousin and a whole lot about jaro we we i don't want to go too deep y'all because 12 do be participating we know that we know that but black goes specifically and he's been on 051 ever since now when mama doug explained a bit a big phenomenal uh, um, update is about to happen in the Duck case, and we did see it. We seen Moop and all the OTF guys and the 600 members, 300 members, and even guys from different parts of the area who's tied to their ops get a federal indictment for being the alleged killers of FBG Duck. During this time, 051 made an interview like six months later, eight months later, and they were like, we mad at them guys. They said our names, they said a whole lot, but specifically Billionaire Black, he couldn't give a damn how them guys was talking. According to Black and how he feeling, what he doing out here, he's putting the trouble on you guys. You guys is dissing, you guys is saying all that. So he did the freestyle melee way in his car. Fans was fucking with it, rocking with it. Then a year later, Billionaire Black drops the video disc to Melly Way, and that would be one of his biggest songs in a short time period ever that he did, would let the doors open again for Billionaire Black. So Billionaire Black been on a mission of, I'm not being friendly with you niggas, I'm not laughing with you niggas, we're not participating in none of that. You ain't gonna have me sticking around you being fake so-called friends, we're gonna call it out and let the quiche out of you guys. Now, I don't know if his beef with cash is for real, but when I'm reading Rest in Peace to Richard Perks forever, you feel me? I ain't really seen from him no rest in peace cash. Now, if y'all seen him write that, send it to me so we can clarify things. But then we're reading this. Billy Dapper, he puts on King Yella's cryptic picture and he puts, damn, Mr. Mellyway. We know he claims cash was picking sides or at least the fans of billionaire black say cash was picking sides cash is friends with the homies he's around fredo bang and fredo bang say he's best friends with uh dirk and them so that mean fredo bang done subliminally and all that dissing your dead guys being around people like black don't got time with playing with people who's dangling around the fences I don't know if my man Cash was chilling with the ops. Cash is a hilarious dude. He knows how to troll people. So I can't sell, tell you that Cash was really hanging with the ops. If other people know that, that's for them to speak on it. You feel me? I know how Chicago people like to say I'm following them. I'm going to say on his people in them. You feel me? I don't even be a journalist. It's heartbreaking when you see guys you've been watching for 12, 13 years. They done went from boys to men. And no, no pun intended to the R&B group, but they went from boys to men, and now nobody ain't really friends no more. Nobody ain't doing nothing no more. So I really feel it was a big loss when Duck got killed. All you seen is people doing go, go, gadget, go, man. Stretching their arms out to everybody, coming close to you. It's to the point, you don't even know if your own blood and your own folks done drop the locations. You don't know. It's a world of confusion. It causes more than just PTSD, more than just anxiety, more than just people who have bipolar. It causes you to become a snake yourself. You have no choice to become a snake in a snake-filled world. That got to be traumatizing on somebody's mindset. Lack of sleep, lack of energy because you got to remain awake, stay alert, stay alive. So I don't know what to say. These ain't speculations. I do real stories over here that y'all can look at, break it down, and decide it for yourself. Tell me in the comment section what you feeling about that. YouTube comment section is acting funny right now. It ain't me, gang. Salute to all the people we love out here. Love your family. Man, definitely love your kids. Make sure you hit that like button. Subscribe to the channel. Subscribe to the video. Rock out with I Smoke Hip Hop Live. Let's hit that duck intro. Let's go. Like
Dirty bitch.